الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. And yesterday we started Bab Zakat al Fitr. Even though it's part of Kitab al Zakat due to its relationship with the chapter. I'm thinking about that. I could probably go back and see. There are probably chapters related to the Salat, but Alhamdulillah, Ramadan is approaching. We said, or the author said, Wahiya wajibatun ala kulli Muslim. It's obligatory upon every Muslim. Malaka fadlan an kutihi wa kuti iyalihi layla al Eid. Wayomahu sa'an. Whoever owns more than what he needs for his provisions and the provisions of his family for the night of the on the night of the Eid and its day. Asa. Asa meaning that's what he has to give for Zakat al Fitr. Wa qadr al fitrati sa'un and the amount of fitr. Right, is a sa min al bur from wheat or sha'ir or barley. O daqiki hima or the flower of them too. O sawiqi hima or dough of them too. O min al tamr wa zabib or from dates and raisins. فَإِنْ لَمْ يَجِدْ أَخْرَجَ مِنْ قُوتِهِ أَيِّ شَيْءٍ كَانَ سَاعًا And if he doesn't find it, meaning from them types of foods, أَخْرَجَ Then he brings it out or he gives out مِنْ قُوتِهِ From his provisions أَيِّ شَيْءٍ Whatever thing he can, can assign is a saa. And we read up to there yesterday. So he says, "Women, Waalaikum Salam, Rabbi Barakatuh." Women, lazimathu fitratu nafsihi, lazimathu fitratu men talzamuhu mu'natu Layla al Eid. Women and whoever. Lazimathu fitratu. Fitratu is the file, marfu. Lazimat is feminine because fitratu is feminine. And it, we said lazima has to do with uh, necessity or requiring, right? And we said when we talked about the luzum, al masjid. When we talked about i'tikaf yesterday, luzum, we said that it is clinging to and uh, staying in. So when we say necessity or require, then we say when something is clinging to, if this is this, if this is here, then this is necessarily here. That is clinging to it, right? If something is clinging to something, then when this is present, the clinging thing is necessarily or required to be present, right? So that's where the meaning comes in. Well, as he met who, meaning it's necessary for him, fitratu nafsihi. Whoever, the paying the fitra for himself is necessary. Fitratu nafsihi, the fitra of himself. If that's necessary upon him, lazimathu fitratu men talzamuhu mu'natuhu. Then the fitra of whoever, man here is whoever, talzamuhu, which is related to this lazimat, right? We can see this. 
Mu'natuhu. Mu'natuhu. We know this word, but I guarantee we don't know how we know it, right? I can almost guarantee it. Who can tell me what they think this word Mu'natuhu? Mu'natuhu. <coughs> Uh, basics or basis. Yeah, where do you get that from? Just from the context or <clears throat> how do you know it? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, you know, the way I thought about that was something that uh, not, don't even make sense how to look at it from the method. No. Well, I mean, it's it's very close what you said. We know another yeah. word. Let me write it. Let me write it properly, though. <laughs> let me make sure I'm writing it properly. One second. Uh, uh, it's not. It's, it's not the word I was thinking anyway. So, no problem. But anyway, it means supplies or provisions, the things that you need, right? Mu'natahu mm. from Meme Wow Noon. That's how you would look it up, right? Men tell Zamuhu Mu'natahu Laylatul Eid. Okay. That's a misprint there. No. And a casserole? Lee. Oh yeah, that is. Yes. I didn't even see what you were talking about. <coughs> okay. Woman Lazi Methu Fitra to Nafsihi. Whoever basically is required the fitra or the fitra of himself is required upon him. Lazi Methu it's required upon him. Fitra to the fitra men of whoever talzamuhu mu'natuhu whoever it's required upon him their provisions or his provisions laylatul eid the night of the eid so whoever at that time at the night of the eid right tomorrow morning is the eid we saw the moon or we completed 30 days from Ramadan and it was cloudy, right? Whoever, it's obligatory upon me to pay the, whoever the obligatory is upon, who, whoever I'm responsible for, then it's obligatory upon me to pay the fitter for them. So, for example, my wife, my son, my daughter, my, maybe my mom and dad live with me and I'm responsible for them, right? Or a slave that I'm responsible for. Even if I got that slave today, earlier in the day, the last day of Ramadan, I got the slave, right? But now I'm responsible for him tonight, right? Or maybe yesterday, I was responsible for my son, right? But then my son became in the puberty over, over, or my daughter got married, right? In the last day of Ramadan. She's no longer my responsibility, so I don't have to pay for her, right? But whoever, Laylatul Eid, whoever you're responsible for on the night of Eid, Lazimatu Fitratu Men Telzamuhu Mu'natuhu. Then it's obligatory or necessary, required from him the fitra of whoever. It's required for him the provisions on that night. <coughs> Either, here is if or when, Malaka, he owns, Ma yu'addi anhu. Yu'addi anhu from Alif Dal Ya, right? Meaning, like we talk about a salat, the performance of the salat. If he owns what you add the and who what he can, basically what he what he has the ability to give 
on his behalf, right? So if you have provisions for yourself, then you have to give provisions for everyone who you're responsible for to the extent that you have the ability to do so. فَإِنْ كَانَتْ مُؤْنَتُهُ تَلْزَمُ جَمَاعَةً كَالْعَبْدِ الْمُشْتَرَكِ فَإِنْ كَانَتْ So if مُؤْنَتُهُ His مُؤْنَتَ His provisions, his supplies كَانَتْ uh, Were or whatever Tells them all if they, and this puts us in the past tense basically. As we said, canna, canna is like if we have a timeline. We have present, past, and say future, like that, right? If we talk about things here in the present, we would say, right, like tells them all. Right? Here in the past we would talk about lazima, right? But if I use the word canna, canna, then from there on out I would start talking about it in the present. I took us back. So we do the same thing in English. We just have to get used to it in Arabic. So when we say uh, if we're talking about last year, last summer, when I was home, I went to D.C. and I went, to, no, so no, we, we drove to D.C. and while we were driving, we were eating and we were talk. you start talking about it as if it's present. You don't just keep saying we ate, we drank, we talked. No, you talk about it if it's in the, we were eating, we, we, we were eating and then I said to him, uh, what, where are we going? It, it takes a, this can takes us back and we start talking about it in the present tense. So this can here is doing the same thing. Although many times we talk about things in the past tense and it continues on into the future. So you may translate it as if it's the present tense, right? But in can it netuhu. So if his provisions were Telzamu jama'atin were required basically for a jama'at, for a group of people. So if his provisions were necessary upon a jama'at, upon a group, kal'abd, like a slave, ka here is like or as or as if, kal'abd, like a slave, al mushtarak. Mushtarak is from the word shirk, sheen, ra, kaf. Mushtarak meaning he is shared. Right? That two people go and buy a slave and they share them. I got them, you know, the first three days of the week, you got them the last three days, we got them every other day, whatever the case is, right? Al Abd al Mushtarak. Cat here, as we see, is a harf jar. It makes the noun following it majror, al mushtarak is majror in order to agree with this noun that it's describing. Like a shared slave. Wal mu'siri al qarib li jama'atin. Al mu'sir from ain, seen, ra. We know this word. Innam al usri yusra. Usri is difficulty, right? Mu'sir. Meaning someone who has a difficulty, someone who doesn't have the ability to pay zakat al fitr, right? Al Mu'siri al Qarib. Al Qarib is a relative, means someone close to you. But here in this context, or when we talk about someone's Qarib or a Qarib, we're talking about their relatives. Al Mu'siri al Qarib. Li jama'atin to a group, meaning a person who's in difficulty, right? A relative who has some difficulty in paying his uh, own affairs, 
a relative of the of a jama'ah, of the group of people basically that he's responsible for. Right? Fafitratuhu alayhim. Then his fitra, the fitra of whoever this is, al Abdul Mushtarik, al Mu'sil Karib li Jama'ah. Fitratuhu, referring to these people. Right? Alayhim is upon them, is obligatory upon them. Ala hasabi mu'natihi. Ala hasbi, oh, ala hasabi means according to the ability or according to. Right? So you say, uh, I'm trying to think. I use it, it's used all the time. I'm just trying to think of the last time I used it. It was like yesterday. Uh, you know, uh, like is that a good price for a house, for example? Right? Is 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 ten is ten thousand dollars or is a hundred thousand dollars enough to buy me a good house? Say al hasb. You know, according to according to different things, according to the neighborhood, according to what you consider to be good, according to you know al hasb, meaning you know a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand dollars could the house you buy for hundred thousand dollars might be good to me, but not might might not be good to you, right? It might be hundred thousand dollars might be good in some na neighborhoods, but not other neighborhoods, right? Other so ala hasbi means according to mu netihi according to his supplies. Mu netihi his supplies. And that <coughs> and that scene got a sukun or the fucker. He said has to be. Yeah, Allah has to be. It's has to be. It's with a fatta. Right. Fa in kana ba'duhu hurran. Right? And this will make this paragraph clear and then we'll review it. Fa in kana ba'duhu hurran. So if some of him. Fa in kana ba'duhu. Some of him. Ba'du is some. Hurren. So here we're talking about a slave, for an example. He has purchased part of his freedom. He has made a contract with his owner that his owner is willing to set him free for a certain amount of money. And he's paid, for an example, just for easy, he's paid half of that. Fafitratuhu alayhi. Wa ala sayyidihi. Then his fitra, fa fitra to who? Then his fitra, meaning the zakat that he has to pay, alayhi is upon him, wa ala sayyidihi, and upon his master. So, for instance, if I have to pay a sa of food for every person I'm in charge of, and I got a slave, and that slave is half free. Right? He has to pay for half, and I have to pay for the other half. Mm -hmm. If I have a relative, he's not able to, or there's a relative of the group of people I'm responsible for, he has some ability to give some of his zakat al fitr. He can come up with two mud, right? But he can't come up with the other two mud. Then he pays two, and I pay the other two because I'm responsible for him. Right? So let's look at it again. It said, let's read them two again. Woman lazi methu fitratu nafsihi. And whoever it's necessary are fitratu nafsihi, the fitra, the zakatul fitr for himself. Is required. Lazimethu fitratu men telzamuhu mu'natuhu laylatul eid. Then whoever, right, whoever uh, it's necessary for him to pay fitra for himself, then it's necessary the fitra for whoever. Supplies are necessary upon him on the night of Eid. Wherever he is 
responsible for providing for in the night of Eid, then it's necessary for him to uh, pay zakat al fitr for on their behalf. Either malaka ma you addi anhu. If he owns enough, maybe I don't own enough for everyone I'm responsible for, so I have to pay as much as I can, right? And if you don't own enough, then you would be qualified to receive it on their behalf, right? If you don't own enough for yourself, then therefore you could receive it, right? But in kanat mu'natuhu talzamu jama'atan. So if his supplies are necessary upon a group, like a slave which is shared, or a or a relative who is in difficulty, the relative of the jama'at who is in some difficulty and has hardship paying his zakat al fitr. فَفِتْرَتُهُ عَلَيْهِمْ Then the fitra of these is upon them, meaning the relative, the group of people, they become responsible. The, the people who share the slave, they become responsible. So if two people share a slave, each of them are responsible for half of it. عَلَى حَسَبِ مُؤْنَتِهِ According to the, his provisions or supplies. فَإِنْ كَانَ بَعْدُهُ غُرًّا So if some of him is free فَفِتْرَتُهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَلَى سَيِّدِهِ Then his zakat al-fitr is upon himself and upon his master. Any questions so far? <coughs> I guess I'm not related. I'll ask later though. Inshallah. وَيُسْتَحَبُّ Ikhraj al fitrati and it is recommended to pay this ikhraj is to bring out, right? Kharaja is to exit, to leave out. Ikhraj form four means to take out, meaning to pay it basically. Ikhraj al fitrati mudaf mudaf ilay paying the cattle fitr yom al eid is recommended on the day of the Eid. Qabla Salat al-Eid. Before the Salat of the Eid. Qabla is a the. Making the noun following it. Majroor. Mudaf ilayh. Wa la yajuzu. And is not permissible. Ta'khiruha an yawm al-Eid. It is not permissible to hear, right? Which is to delay. Akhara you akhiru ta meaning to delay something. It's not permissible to delay it on Yom al Eid from the day of the Eid. And this is because some of the people say it's permissible to pay it as long as you pay it on the day of Eid. Whereas the Prophet ﷺ, he told us in the hadith that you should pay the zakat al-fitr before the salat. And whatever is paid after salat, then it's just sadaqah. It's not zakat al-fitr. So if you want your zakat al-fitr to be given, and the zakat al-fitr has a purpose, which he doesn't talk about here. Who can tell me the purpose of zakat al-fitr? For the person giving it. For the person giving it. The purpose of zakat al fitr for the purpose uh, for the person giving it. Right, not the person receiving it. You know, the person receiving it, he's getting it so he can eat on that day. He don't have enough provisions for himself and his family, so he's receiving it so he can celebrate the Eid with the rest of the Muslims. But what's the purpose of the one giving it? Why is he giving it? What's the benefit to him? <laughs> Barakah from Allah. <laughs> uh, to complete his any shortcomings he had in the, uh, during the month. Yeah, the Prophet Sallallahu said that this takes care of or fulfills and completes any shortcomings that person had during the month. 
Mm. Right? So that's the purpose of Zakat al-Fitr, for the one giving it. So he also said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that it should be given before the Salah, and anything given after the Salah is just Sadaqah. So therefore, you want to give it before the Salah. If you don't give it before the Salah, then it's just Sadaqah, and it's not Zakat al-Fitr, and therefore, your shortcomings may not be completed. I'm not going to say they won't be. I'm saying they may not be. Allah can do anything uh, He pleases. وَيُسْتَحَبُّ إِخْرَاجُ الْفِطْرَةِ يَوْمِ الْعِيدِ قَبْلَ صَلَاةِ الْعِيدِ It's recommended to bring out Zakat al-Fitr and pay it on the day of Eid before the Eid. وَلَا يَجُوزْ تَأْخِيرُهَا عَنْ يَوْمِ الْعِيدِ It's not permissible to delay it past the day of Eid. وَيَجُوزُ تَقْدِيمُهَا And it's permissible, يَجُوزُ تَقْدِيمُهَا Which is the opposite of تَأْخِيرُهَا قَدَّمَ يُقَدِّمُ تَقْدِيم Meaning to be early or be ahead. تَقْدِيمُهَا عَلَيْهِ بِيَوْمَيْنْ أَوْ ثَلَاثَ It's permissible for him to bring it forward a day Two days or three days early. B Yomain O Thalatha. Two days or three days early. Permissible for them to do it two or three days earlier than the E. Right? Well ya juzu and Yuta Al Wahid Ma Yelzamu Al Jama'a Wal Jama'a tu Ma yalzamu al wahid. And it's permissible. And yu'ta. Yu'ta is from ayn ta ya or alif maksura, meaning to give, to pay. Again, to give, basically. It's permissible <coughs> that he gives al wahid, that you give one. one. Yu'ta is actually. Uh, passive or majhul and wahid is the file so it's permissible that one be given ma yalzamu al jama'a what is required by the jama'a basically meaning you can take the zakat al fitr the person in charge of the zakat al fitr can give or for instance you, uh, for instance, Abdullah, I know Abdullah has him, his wife, and two, fam and, and two children. Him, his wife, and two children he's responsible for, right? He can go to his Muslim neighbor, and that, that old guy, Abdurrahim, whatever, he's by himself. He can give the zakat al-fitr for him, his wife, and his children to Abdurrahim. Yu'ta al-wahid. It's permissible to, for one to be given ma yalzamu al-jama'a. What the jama'a is required to give. What a group of people is required to give. So you can give the zakat al-fitr of many to one. Wal jama'atu ma yalzamu al-wahid. And you can give to a group of people what is necessary upon one. So therefore, Abdurrahim lives by himself next to Abdullah <coughs> and he has to pay zakat to fitr. He has enough. But it's just for him. And Abdullah is poor. He can't afford it. Right? So Abdurrahim can give his zakat to fitr to the whole family. Not to just Abdullah. He can give it to the whole family. So vice versa. يَجُوزُ أَنْ يُعْتَى الْوَاحِدُ مَا يَلْزَمُ الْجَمَاعَةِ It's permissible to give the, to one what is obligatory or necessary or required from the group and it's permissible to give a group what's necessary or required from one. And this, type, this, this, this issue comes up a lot in the Masajid because a lot of times people bring a big tent, you know, pound or kilogram whatever it is bag of rice and then 
somebody will give that bag of rice to a small family, like a husband and a wife. Like, come on, man, that's more than, you know, two sides or something. You know, there's more than that. You know, why are you giving so much to one person or two people, right? It's permissible to do so, right? The, the hope would be, the hope would be that the well-off people and the people who own enough for themselves would be able would be outnumber the poor that would be the hope right and therefore the poor people would receive more than their share more than just the saw that's the hope inshallah any questions about the why fatta kasra dhamma why is this this that or about the the thick of this right here إذن أبو طاهر اقرأ لنا باب زكاة الفطر وهي واجبة على كل مسلم ما لك فضلا أن قوته وقوت إياله إياله ليلة ليلة الإيد ويومه صاع وقادر الفطرة صاع من البور أو الشعير أو الشعير أو دقيقهما أو صويكهما صويكهما أو من التمر والزبيب فإن لم يجد أكراجا من قوته أي شيء كان صاع ومن لازمته فترة نفسه لاز لازمته فترة من تلزمه ملته ليلة الإيد ما لك ما يودي عنه فإن كانت ملته تلزم جماعة تن كان كان أبدي مشترك وال المؤسير القريب بجماعة ففترته عليهم على حسب ملاته فإن كان بعضه هورا ففترته عليه وعلى السعيد سعيده ويستهب إقراج الفترة يوم الإيد قبل صلاة العيد ولا يجوز تأكيرها عن يوم الإيد ويجوز تقديمها عليه بيومين أو ثلاثة ويجوز أن يعطى الواحد ما يلزم الجماعة والجماعة ما يلزم الواحد يلا عبد الله باب زكاة الفطر وهي واجبة على كل مسلم بل لك فضلا ان كوته وكوت اياله ليلة الابد ويمه صاع وقد رول فطرتي Satan mean al buri a wish ear. Oh, da ki ki he ma. Oh, sa we ki he ma. Oh, me let her wazabi. فإن لم يجد أخرج من قوته أي شيء كان ساء ومن لازمته فترة نفسه لازمته فترة من تلزمه تلزمه مؤنته ليلة الإد إذا ملك ما يؤدي أنه 
وإن كانت بؤنته تلزم جماعة كالأبد المشترك والمؤسر الكارب كارب الجماعة ففتوته عليهم الناس حسبي مؤنته فإن كان بعده حرا ف فتوته عليه على سيده نعم قبل صلاة الإد ولا يجوز تأخيرها عن يوم الإد ويجوز تقديمها عليه بيومين أو ثلاثة ويجوز أن يؤتى الواحد ما يلزم الجماعة والجماعة ما يلزم الواحد نعم yeah I looked through the book real quick and basically the only chapters you could do other than this would be the Eid prayer right as for the supererogatory prayers or for instance Tarawih Totally in winter, there's about a paragraph for each one, and basically, as far as like winter, this is something we should be doing every night anyway, not just in Ramadan. And Totally is basically Qiyam al which is all the time, right? So, we covered as much as we could cover all, except I said like the Eid's a lot, but inshallah ta'ala. Hopefully, you might have learned a little bit of something about Ramadan. At least for me, reading it in Arabic is different. Than it. Even if I knew it and could explain it in English, learning it in Arabic becomes a new, uh, it makes the knowledge fresh in my mind anyway, you know? No, no. And in a different way, you know? Before it was, I don't know, you thought you knew something and now you see words and the way things are presented and, and stuff it's just uh, in English even when they translate even a good translator is just presented differently so reading it in Arabic is is uh just gives you a different light mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I know it's early that's good y'all got an easy day inshallah ta'ala and uh, uh. Father. Yeah, quick look. Uh, what 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 is said by like uh, spying, uh, the spying the say looking for Ramadan? Say uh, it's the twenty ninth night. Like you don't see it that night, but you get up that morning. You mean the thirtieth night? No. The 29th, the 29th night, night, the night comes before the day. So the 29th night would only be the 29th well, yeah, day yeah. the next day. Okay, right. yeah, yeah. Well, and you see, when, uh, not the uh, Rondo, but the uh, uh, so, Shaban. So no, no. Okay, and you get up that morning and you spot the moon and it's before Fajr. Would that be the indication starting Ramadan? It's before Fajr? Yeah. Uh, for sure. That's the night time. Okay. If it's before but, but Fajr, the way... then, then that's the night time. If it's after Fajr, then this might be something else. I had to look up the answer. But if it's before Fajr, then that's considered the night time. And therefore, 
you would have to but, make you know, the intention to fast. Yeah, but that you know, but see the myth. Well, uh, I think it's I think it's not possible to see the moon, that new moon, at that time, because of the way that the lunar, you know, uh, the moon. No doubt phases. about it. Uh, no, no I doubt about know. it. The the hilal for the new moon, the way it comes up and rises, is usually close to Maghrib time. Yeah. However. The question was if they saw the new moon before Fudger. <laughs> so I answered it like Say that, it. right? As far as the. Well, the I don't know that because this morning I saw the moon and it ain't but a few days off now. I don't think, you know, this came up over the horizon. Listen. It was up. I was going to say something, but I'm messing with you. <laughs> no, nah, go ahead. No. I was just. I, no, I'm saying. As far as I know, the new moon is really only seen. Now, the, the old moon can be seen in, 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 in the middle of the night. But the new moon, it usually appears on the horizon close to Maghrib and only for a very short time. It usually sets pretty quickly. Now, that's with the new moon, from what I know, from what I know. And that's what I think I will talk here saying. However... However, if it somehow appeared, right, in the nighttime before Fudger, then it's nighttime still, and you would have to fast. The question becomes if you were to see it in the morning time after Fudger, when the sun had risen and the, sky, the sun had risen and it's still a little bit, you know, or still it's light out. <laughs> It's not seen at the nighttime, and therefore, but but we had to have seen, but nobody saw it. You understand? Uh, but it had to be, but nobody saw it. Nobody, now we all see it, and nobody saw it at the nighttime. We were out looking. We weren't negligent, right? Allah knows best. Yeah. You wouldn't do it. But that's after Fudger. Before Fudger, it's until the nighttime. So if you see it on the 30th night, then you will fast. Is it possible to see it on the 30th night? That's a whole nother issue, right? No. Don't worry. I'm gonna have to look that up. See if it's possible to see it. If it's only like you said, just uh. Abu Tahir. They, You're talking nah. to a man who owns a telescope and knows where all the, the, <laughs> the things are in the sky but, and stuff. But so I never wrong. actually, I never actually paid any attention to you know the sighting of the new moon. Right. You know, so you know, but like I said, I saw the moon this morning, right? When I was up for fun, I was like, huh. Yeah, but it's the you know, end of the it, month, it, though. So the 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 moon, yeah. the moon is different in its phases. It appears in different parts of the horizon, and and its phases are different. You know, sometimes it appear, appears in the when actually the hilal will appear in the western skyline, right? Yeah. But and this was in the west. But in but a but a but an older moon can appear in the eastern skyline, right? And it rises and sets just like the sun, you know. But the the the, the hilal usually appears in the western skyline. So I mean, it, it, its phases are are different. But the Muslims should pay attention to the moon for Sha'ban. Why should they pay attention to the moon at the end of Rajab for Sha'ban? Because they have to know when Shaban starts to know started. when yeah, 30 days started. might be up in case it's cloudy at the end of Shaban. And they pay attention for so they pay attention in Rajab for Shaban. And they pay attention in Shaban for Ramadan. And they pay attention for uh, in Ramadan for Shawal. So they know when the Eid is. As for when does the Ka'da start? We should pay attention. Why should we pay attention? Because Dhul Qa'da is one of the prohibited months, one of the Ashur al Haram, Al Haram, the months which are prohibited to fight in, and they have certain rulings. So we should know when that month starts, right? Whereas Shawal is not from it. And we should know when Dhul Hijjah starts, because that marks Hajj. And we should know when Muharram starts. Because Muharram <coughs> is from the prohibited months, and we have to count out the day of Ashura. And we should know when 
جماد الأخير or جماد الأخرى starts because we want to know when Rajab starts because Rajab is also one of the prohibited months so we would know when in جماد الأخير or جماد الأخرى however they say it جماد الثانية then uh, you want to know when that is so that you can count the 29 or 30 days for Rajab since Rajab is one of the prohibited months but the rest of the months when does Safar start when does Rabi al-Awwal start Rabi al-Thani start those it doesn't really matter right it doesn't really matter except for dates purposes but six or seven of the months we should know because they are marking important parts on our calendar yeah. Well, if you got your telescope and all that, Abdullah, you should open up your little website. I seen the moon today, right? I seen the hilal today, and you can post it online, and people will watch your website. You know, take a picture with your with your uh, telescope camera, and and post a picture of the hilal on the website, so everybody know the new month started. Inshallah. Inshallah. All right, Yahwan. Uh, like I said, um, okay, quick question. Well, I got three y'all in here. <coughs> I thought about doing Tafsir of Al Fatiha wa Qisar al Mufassal, which is basically from Surah Al Duha until the end of the Quran. Al Fatiha and Surah Al Duha until the end of the Quran by Sheikh Salih al Usaymi, right? Or I found uh, a nice tafsir of Surah Al Kaf, right? Which is based upon Ibn Kathir and some abridgments of Ibn Kathir and Saadi and a few other little things. It's just a brief tafsir based upon a number of different works of Surah Al Kaf. I was thinking about making a recording every day and send it out. Is there a is there a uh, and then you could listen to it anytime you wanted to if you wanted to listen to it. Is there one of those that you would prefer over the other? <sighs> Not really. Exactly me. So yeah, I mean, either one will work for me too. Uh, even though I, I would probably prefer Surah to the F just because uh, I think I'm more familiar with some of the tests that I see off the other ones. But, you know, of course, we get benefit all the time, inshallah. So I wouldn't mind either, either one. Uh, looks like the sister was typing, but then I don't know. A Fatiha and the whole Quran would be great, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> But uh inshallah I, I have to figure it out. A Tafsir Surah Al Fatiha wa Kisar al Mufassal, the short ones from the Duha to the end, then that's a little bit longer than the calf that I have. No. Or the print might be different too. The calf I have is 20 pages and the other one I have is 55 pages. But maybe it's really only 30 or 35 pages due to the different print or something. You know, different size font and all that, you know. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they're both exciting to me and I had to figure it out. Anyway, my plan is during the first 20 days of Ramadan... To send out a video every day if you want to watch it watch it and benefit if not then not everything else is on hold inshallah ta'ala from al qira to rashida access to access to quranic arabic i'm going to try to put out some lessons this week um other than that everything's on hold until the end of ramadan and i wait until the day after the Eid or the day of the Eid or something and we'll get together and figure out if we're just going to pick up at the same time because I'll be in the States at that time and then we could just pick it up at 9 o'clock at night I guess uh, St. Louis time 8 o'clock Mountain time so on and so forth Thank you, Thank you. You, need, you need anything before I come home? 
Да. Yeah, yeah. Well, become... got, if you got some of that oud for sale, like the uh, pick some up. You want some? You want some? You want some okay oud, or you want some real good oud? <laughs> no, I know, I know, huh? I know. Uh, middle down the line, whatever you got. Uh, uh, the brother said you had a whole bunch last time. I was trying to get some. Abdul Hakim said you had some. Oh, you talking about Bukhor? Bukhor, 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 I mean, yeah. Okay. Inshallah, I'll get you some, no problem, yeah, Inshallah. Yeah. yeah, you know, when he came oh, last time, on. I had a hookup. I had some Singapore, some Singapore Oud, and uh, it was originally 50K Diatola, which is like 100, 175 KD for 12 grams, right? But... But I was able to get them to just sell me like a half a tola for, and then it was on sale. So for 15 KD, I got a half a tola, and then you know you actually throw an extra gram or two on there. So you're able to for, spend 50 bucks for, spend 50 bucks for for, you know less. But alhamdulillah, I see what I can do and get you some Abdullah. What you need, man? I don't know when you plan on coming. Don't worry about that. There, <laughs> there will be no live class. There will be no live class during Ramadan just because we can't get everyone's schedules to match up. But what I'm going to do, if you want to join in, sister, I'm not sure, and it'll probably be in the middle of the night for you. My plan <laughs> is to do the class at 10 p.m. my time which is Kuwait time, 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., right? And then I just record it that time, but I'll make the class live. If anyone joins in, they join in. Uh, that'll be the tough seer. That'll be the tough seer. If anyone joins in, they join in. If they don't join in, no problem. I just record it and put it on YouTube. And I'll, I'll make an announcement. And it won't, you know, uh, I'll send you the email. It won't matter. If people come, come. If they don't come, the main thing would be to record the class and let the people benefit, you know. And I'll benefit. You know, I'm not. I'm trying not to stop my benefit. That's what it is. If I take a whole month off, man, it might take me three months to get started, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I'll be home before the end of Ramadan, y'all. The law. Inshallah. Inshallah. So if you need something before that, let me know, inshallah ta'ala. Subhanakallah, wa bihamdika, ashadu wa la ilaha ila anta, astaghfiruk wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum ya akhwan, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.